Okay, um, what's going on, everybody? Um, here, um, I haven't been doing videos like this on this channel in a while, and I'm gonna start, you know, doing some more of these commentary videos like that. Before I continue, do me a favor, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to the YouTube um, to this channel. Where I post video game content. But I also, you know, do sports commentary, you know, as well. So make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe. Um, if you want to donate, you know, all my information is down at the bottom. I don't really ask for anything, but if you would like to send a donation, that's fine. You don't need to. I don't beg on here. So, you know, it's whatever you want to do. But here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about um, Jalen Hurts. Now, the Eagles lost 33 to 16 yesterday. And the defense, you know, did not play well. They gave up 20. They were down 24 to nothing near the, after, basically at the end of one quarter. At the end of one quarter, they were down 24 to nothing. And to me... You know, the defense didn't play well, but, you know, I expect the defense to play what they expect it to be. You know, I expect it to be what it is. Okay. You know, they had one good game against the Saints. Saints lost to the Falcons. So, you know, can you really say anything about what really happened and, you know, get a glimpse of how good they are with because they beat the Saints. Saints played the Cowboys and they played the Panthers. Panthers, you know, they won the game. They beat the Raiders. Okay. Now I'm going to go through these stats. These stats are like this. Jalen Hurts was 18 of 30, 158 yards, and one touchdown. This is his second game where he hasn't thrown for 200 yards. His second game, he has not thrown for 200 yards. Okay? And later this week, I'm going to do a comparison with McNabb. Because what everybody wants to say, oh, McNabb is terrible, McNabb. I'm, I'm going to do a comparison <laughs> with Donovan McNabb and go through his stats and whatever. See what it is. Jalen Hurts, 8 carries, 20 yards. Saquon Barkley, 10 carries, 84 yards, 8.4 yards to carry, ran the ball 10 times. You ran the ball 10 times. Hurts ran an 8, game run ran it twice. The Eagles ran the ball 20 times and threw 30 times. Leading receivers. Dallas Goddard, seven receptions, 62 yards. Saquon Barkley, two for 32. Calicatera, one reception, 26 yards. Paris Campbell, four receptions, 17 yards. John, Jahan Dotson, two catches, 11 yards. John Ross, one catch, six yards. Jack Stoll, one catch, four yards. Johnny Wilson, Kenny Gainwell did not have a reception. Okay, when you throw for 158 yards in a game, that is terrible. You will not win in this league not throwing for over 200 yards. 158 yards and lose like that. Now, you know, well, they said, well, in the conference championship game, he didn't do, okay, the defense, they didn't need it. They had uh, Miles Sanders, and the defense really won that game. Miles Sanders hurts, did what he, he didn't really have to do nothing because the Eagles were blowing teams out, game well ran the ball. But they were getting other, um, compl other contributions from other players. So they didn't need Hurts to throw for 250 yards. But when your guys aren't doing what they need to do, you as a quarterback 
has to step up and make plays. And Jalen Hurts did not make the plays in that in the game that they needed to. 33, and they were down 30 to 60 because the Eagles blocked an extra point, returning for two. It's a two possession game. Eagles stop the Bucks on the next possession. They get the ball. The Eagles are in the red zone. Jalen Hurts fumbles the ball. You score, it's a one possession game. You get into the end zone, a one possession game. 30 23. It's a different ball game. And you can't, you can't turn the ball over. And Jalen Hurts has turned the ball over. He's turned it over 23 times. And many people say, oh, well, it's just a flu. No, this is continuing. This has continued. And we want to sit here and see, this is the thing that we want to do. We want to blame, oh, it's Nick Sirianni. Nick Sirianni did this. Nick Sirianni did that. Nick Sirianni did that. Oh, in the other game against the Falcons, Hurts was 23 of 30, 183. A touchdown and interceptions. So it was a second game this season. He has not thrown for 200 yards. If you don't throw for 200 yards in this league, chances are you're not going to win. Yeah, he rushed for 85 yards. You have to throw the ball. You can't run all the time. And yes, they don't have A.J. Brown. And yes, they don't have Devontae Smith. But Donovan McNabb had James Thrash and Todd Pinkston. Charles Johnson and Torrance Small. And got to the divisional round with those receivers got to the conference championship with James Thrash, Todd Pinkston, Todd Pinkston, Greg Lewis. Remember, Terrell Owens didn't play against the Falcons in the NFC Championship game. So the Eagles won that game without Terrell Owens. Because a lot of people don't remember. They, they didn't have Terrell Owens in that championship game. Todd Pinkston and Greg Lewis. And you mean to tell me Jahan Dotson can't get open. Paris Campbell can't get open. But if you put another quarterback in there, come on. We have to stop blaming coaches. We have to stop blaming, oh, it's Nick Sirianni. Nick Sirianni. Oh, let's fire Nick Sirianni. Yes, does Nick Sirianni deserve some of the blame? Yes, he's a coach. Got to take some of the blame. But is he 100% blame? No, he's not 100% blameless. But when they sit there, oh, he's 100% responsible. He should be fired. No, Nick Sirianni has been to the playoffs all three seasons. He's been head coach. Say what you want. Oh, they benefited from an easy schedule. You have to win those games. Just because you play an easy schedule, wins aren't guaranteed. Look at last year. They lost to the Giants. They lost to the Cardinals. They lost to the Seahawks. It is not easy to win, and you can get beat at any given time. Any given Sunday, you can get beat. But we want to cry about, oh, well, they had an easy schedule. And if they if they lost to one of those easy teams, what would you going to say about them? It's the NFL. But we want to complain about the coach. The coach is this. The coach is a clown. Oh, it is. He, he lost the team. But what did Jalen Hurts say at that news conference? He said, we have our moments. That goes to show me that there is a disconnect between quarterback and head coach. And I'm starting to get concerned now. Is this guy the answer? Now, I'm not going to go to say like some people said on radio shows today that Jalen Hurts is not a good quarterback. Hey, his career is over. No. But don't you sit there and tell me he's in the Patrick Mahomes, he's in the Joe Burrow, Josh Allen discussion. He is not. We have to accept who he is. Is he an average to above average quarterback? Yes. But maybe that's all he can do, and he will never get any better. This is what it is. And we 
have to just accept that. And yes, Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown covers up the flaws. Why do you think they went out and got him? When you have playmakers like that, it makes you look good. Donovan McNabb didn't need playmakers. He got to the conference championship game and did a whole lot with very little. Come on. McNabb had his moments. But we got to stop saying Jalen Hurts is MVP. Jalen Hurts is the best. I don't see it. When this man went and got paid, this is what a lot of people do. They go and they get paid, and it's like, man, I got my money. I'm going to do what I do. They got paid. And Jalen better be careful. Because if this continues to go down this road, he's not going to be the starter next year. And what I need Nick Sirianni to do as I need him to get on Jalen and say, because I don't know what's going on. No one knows. But I need what Nick needs to do is get in Jalen's face and say, you know what? You need to be better. You need to be better than this. You getting paid too much money to be stinking up the joint. You got to be better. You can't turn the football over. You can't. inexcusable like i said the defense you know bryce huff it's, it's a waste i mean and you can blame the heat but they wasn't prepared to play they was not prepared to play at all so what i'm gonna do during the week i'm going to um go through some season stats. I don't know which year I'm going to go through, but I'm going to take a look at like probably 2000, 2001 stats of Donovan McNabb. And I'm going to compare them stats to what Jalen Hurts has done. Because, you know, Donovan McNabb is the best quarterback in Eagles history. By far. I know he didn't win a Super Bowl. Nick Foles won a Super Bowl. But Donovan McNabb is the best quarterback in Eagles history. Jeff Hostetler won a Super Bowl. Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl. So just because you win a Super Bowl doesn't mean you're a Hall of Fame player. So we need to we need to um, cut that out. By the way, we, um, Pete Rose passed away today. Just got heard that a few minutes ago. And the Kimbe Matumbo, he um, passed away. He had brain cancer, cancer, the age of 58. 58 years old, brain cancer. Man, he, uh, it, there is a lot of deaths going on this year. Every day is another death going on. It, 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 it's crazy. So just uh, live your life to the fullest because tomorrow you're not promised anything. But that's all for um, today. Please like, comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you like to donate, up to you. No pressure on y'all. If y'all want to donate, the information is in the description box. I'm Brandon G, and I'm out.